Welcome to Red V TV, supported by Chapel House for the 2023 season. And today, Kevin, we are going to discuss our number two. It is the male model of the squad. It's the absolutely beautiful Tommy Makinson. And Tommy is proudly sponsored by Bullfort Financials. Genuinely, Kev. You watch Tommy Makinson, and I think we discussed it in um, our post match aftermath after St George. His levels never ever drop. No, um, they don't. He's, for me, he's the first name on the team sheet. His work ethic, his finishing, his all round contribution to the team. He's an absolute superstar, and genuinely believe would have made it with ease in the NRL if he'd have ever chose to gone across. Yes, I agree with that actually. Um I think that's it. The the way that he, he runs at the line when you're struggling in your own 10 meter area and you're trying to get out, you're trying to get quick plays to, to make a bit of a gap and, and win an easy 10, 20 meters going forward. He is the player that for us and possibly across Super League is the best at that. He just you're always confident with him that you're going to get that that run in from him. But then, as you say, you go down the other end of the field and, listen, others do it just as well. You talk about Tom Johnson and the likes. The original, the OG, is this man here. Um, he's the one who... He, it, sometimes you, you look at it now and you just think, yeah, it's Tommy Makinson, isn't it? And some of the, the, the finishing, I think it has kind of evolved the game. Yeah, I'll, I'll make the caveat that back in the day, the corner flag was out, and nowadays it isn't. But play by the rules. If that's if that's part of the rules, then it doesn't matter what it used to be. You've got them finishes from Tommy that are absolutely outstanding. And when we talk about um, players who should be front and centre of rugby league um, marketing. That man right there is a prime example of who from our club should be front and centre. For me, Tommy is a player who will be most appreciated by your prop forwards. Yeah. He's guaranteed to take at least one up every set, sometimes two in a set. That's taking 20 to 40% of your weight load off your forwards, carrying the ball out from your own line and making good yards with it. Yeah. Um, safe under the high ball, gives you your forwards a chance to stroll back and get onside, um, preserving energy for when, when we need it. And as an all-round team player, there is no one better. Um, can't speak highly enough. Um, outside of James Roby, you look at your Tommy Makinson and your Johnny Lowe matches, your two standouts. Yeah, as, as your people who, yeah, you'd absolutely know would run through a brick wall for you. Listen, other players would. We know that. But you're right, there's a... There's just I haven't that, even, mentioned, that, I haven't even mentioned Jack Wellsby. Yeah, that's it. There's just that... that as you say, it's the all-round game of him. It's, it's every little bit. We, we can stand here and we can turn around and say... Yeah, he's a great finisher. Yeah, he runs it out, everything like that. There's the sense that he holds people to account as well. So you'll see him telling people behind the posts, same as Johnny Lomax does, same as James Roby does. He's one of that, we talk about leadership groups, he's one of them that, as you say, I, it, it's difficult to talk about players like Tommy Makinson because you feel like you're eulogising about them and being a little bit over the top. And you're not. You're giving a, a, an honest opinion on a player that if you turn around and say, well, what are you expecting from him this season? The same as last year. I'm expecting him to to hold himself to them same high standards. I'm expecting him to be there or thereabouts in uh, try scoring charts. I'm expecting him to be there or thereabouts in metres making. <laughs> I'm expecting him to be solid as a rock on that right wing and if we need him to slot in to any other position due to injury or suspension crisis or whatever 
him be able to, and you not notice a dip in performance. Um, yeah, we're speaking, listen. we're speaking so highly about a winger, nothing yeah. against wingers, but normally your wingers are just the pretty boys who stand out wide and score the tries. But we haven't I, even I bet, we haven't even talked about his try scoring ability. Yeah, but I bet if you spoke to someone like Alex Wormsley, he would still say he's one of them pretty boys who all he does is stand there out wide with a little smile on his face, obviously. But, yeah, and then, yeah, you're right, try scoring ability with a good centre inside him and Connie loves letting his winger go free. Um, it's like the perfect combination, though, where you make that good good partnership with a winger, with a centre next to you, and you think, Tommy Makinson, imagine him being outside, Matt Gidley or Jamie Lyon back in the day. Imagine playing with them at the pomp. You know, he'd have had an absolute field day, and that's nothing against whoever plays right centre for Saints. But we're talking Jamie Lyon here, who's one of the best that I've ever seen at the club. Imagine seeing him just letting Makinson go. But Makinson can make stuff as well. He makes stuff happen. The tries that he scores were, you think, there's not a chance here. But he manages to get in. And he's he's not just one who always goes for the outside. You, you look at the St. George game, where he takes, where he thinks about what's in front of him, to see the defence sliding across. So goes against the grain. And as soon as he goes against the grain, he's in. He can drop the ball off as he does to Jack Wellsby. Or he can go in himself. Does Kev... Does Kev. Does Tommy Makinson make a Saints all-time 13 on the wing? He probably does. Roll on one wing, Tommy on the other? Yeah, and listen, you can turn around and people say Darren Albert or Anthony Sullivan or Les Quirk or there'll be others I'm missing out here. But I think when you're basing it, I mean, obviously we didn't see ball play. When you're basing it on players that you've seen especially, mine would probably be Sullivan and Makinson. Um, just just for... Sullivan was just raw pace, wasn't he? Abs, as was Darren Albert. The flyer. Uh, as was Darren Albert. But for some reason, I'd just go Sullivan probably above Albert. I think that's just personal preference, possibly. Um, but I think Makinson does get in on the other wing. For me, anyway, in my opinion... I'd go with him on the other wing. Yeah. If you want to argue with us, that's what the comments are for below. Exactly, by all means. Well, that's it. You say argue. We usually have Martin's usually in there from Leeds or Martin Harvey's usually in there as well. Um, they might have different ideas. They might have seen other players and, and put them in the comments. Listen, have a conversation with us. Yeah. We do read everything. I just don't get often enough time to reply, but we do read it all, I promise you. <laughs> I think I think that's the thing as well. I think sometimes people um, think that we're not being ignorant. It's just the amount of time that sometimes you put into this is is can be unreal, can't it, David? Yes. I'll catch you tomorrow for the next one. I'm still not changing yeah. this talk. Don't forget <laughs> to like, share and subscribe. And we'll catch you tomorrow for the final one.